This video will demonstrate how to calculate the gradient of a straight line. The general formula for the equation of a straight line is y equals mx plus c. What do these letters mean? The y and the x refer to the two axes on a Cartesian plane, where the x is the horizontal axis and the y is the vertical axis. The c refers to the y-intercept. This is where a line crosses the y-axis. The m refers to the gradient. The gradient is the same as slope. These are just a few examples of slope in the real world. Which of these paths would you rather take? I can imagine you'd rather take the one on the right, as the one on the left is very steep. This means that it has a large gradient, whereas the one on the right is flat and therefore has a small gradient. Let's look at how we actually calculate gradient. To determine the gradient of this hill, we would first need to measure the distance of the vertical rise and the horizontal run. In this case, the rise equals 6 cm, while the run equals 12 cm. To calculate gradient, we use the formula rise over run. Using the values which we just obtained, we substitute these into this equation. This gives us 6 over 12, which equals 0.5. Therefore, the gradient of that, that hill is 0.5. Let's look at another example, this time using a triangle as a simplified version of a hill. We again need to measure the distance of the vertical rise and the horizontal run. We then substitute these values into the equation for rise over run, which gives us 6 divided by 3, which equals 2. Therefore, the gradient of this hill is 2. Now let's determine the gradient of this straight line. As the line crosses the y-axis at 1, this is the y-intercept. To determine the gradient, we need to choose two points on the line. These are the points that I've chosen, and these are their coordinates. We then need to determine the vertical and horizontal distances between these two points. These are otherwise known as the rise and the run. We can then see that the rise is 2 centimetres, while the run is 1 centimetre. We then substitute these values into the equation for gradient on the right, and this gives us 2 divided by 1, which equals 2. Therefore, the gradient of this line equals 2. We can then substitute this value into the equation on the right. This tells us that the equation of this line is y equals 2x plus 1. 